Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure. Look at that, it's high tide. We're here at high tide today. Uh, the first shell find today is this little piece of lace coral. I found out just today from my friend Kat that this is um, lace coral, a type of uh, bryozoa, something like that, something like a moss animal. Thought that was super cool. Well, a wave just gently pushed all this up and I noticed this scallop first. Ooh, that's gross, whatever that is. Got myself a lovely commercial scallop. And uh, as I was just casting my eyes up, when did that pop up there? Did that just come up on that way? Oh, wow, look at that. There's a little hermit crab in there. He's been pushed up. Alrighty, well, um, the waves are a bit funky right now, but I'll try to put him back in a spot that's a bit more sheltered. Yes. Our first cowrie today. Oh yes, he's a lovely looking snakehead cowrie. Okay, okay, big limpet on the rack line. How do you look? Chow. Oh, he looks kind of a bit faded. He might stay behind. But uh, whoa! Oh, did you just see that one wash up in front of my freaking eyes? Are you kidding? That one is definitely one of those melanoid moon snails that I got uh, last week. I love these guys. What the heck? That's awesome. Oh, wow. I would have lost that one if I didn't pick it up right then and there. Holy cannoli, Batman. Is that another one? Yeah, I think it is. It's another one of those, um, I either want to say a monkey sand snail or another melanoid moon snail with some markings on it. I will have to, uh, I will have to do some research at home to double check, but wow, that's like the third one of these big mouthed moon snails today. That is super cool. Right over here we have a little keyhole limpet. For all the people who love limpets at home, there is a particularly lovely keyhole limpet because it's got a lot of nice color on the side of it. Right in this little nest of goodies here, I can see a few things. First of all, a little globosa trivia, I think kind of a bean trivia but because he's got like a curved mouth like a mouth like a smiley face he's a glob trivia and there's actually just a lot of little um mini sand dollars here let me just pick up a handful there we go I got a nice little handful of some mini sand dollars right there and I just spotted you <laughs> you're kidding it's another one of those cute little moon snails that I like the um monkey sand snail or melanoid moon snail he's got a bit missing out of his lip but he's still fairly cool Oh, uh, skull for Maddie! Would you look at that? My goodness, my eyes nearly didn't see it. What? Are you actually kidding me? Look at this tiny, gorgeous little guy, a Triton. He's got a very black tip on him. Wow! He's got a lot of coloration on him. I'm pretty sure he's just empty in there. I will check it off camera though. Gosh, what a stunning little guy! Oh, oh! Look at this one! Look at this um, neurite. I think he's a blotched neurite, although I could be wrong. But look, he's got like little gold orange patterns running through him on this black. Usually if he was all orange like that, I would say it was like an old and worn shell, but because he's got so much black still on him and the orange is running like concurrently through him, that looks so amazing. I think that's like deliberate on the snail's part. Awesome. Are you actually kidding me? How did nobody spot that orange pop of colour? Oh, you know, I was a bit worried for a second that he wouldn't be whole and he isn't, but look, he's lovely anyway. Got his tip, missing a bit of the lip from about where my thumb is to, a, to down here. I reckon something got into that, probably a crab, but it's a lovely beer barrel ton shell. And right next to him, of course, I saw that. He's a lovely blue cowrie. The common name is, of course, the yellow-toothed cowrie. Bit of a nice limpet there for all you limpet lovers at home. He's got quite a nice irregular shape. I don't mind him at all. Oh, would you get a load of the pretty colours on that one? Oh, wow, look at that yellow with his silver. Gosh, he is a nice looking limpet. Very, very, very vibrant. Um, I'm pretty bad with identifying limpets. It could either be a common limpet or a tortoise limpet. So uh, if I get it wrong, please be understanding and forgiving. Oh, is that? Is that? Is that? Oh, it is! Oh, 
Wow, I found myself a very faded little Humphreys calorie, made apparent by the fact that it's all orange and spotty and lovely on the bottom. That's a cool find. And I didn't miss this. Look at that. It's another one of those sea butterfly guides. The um, Cavalinia uncinata or something like that. Oh my goodness, they're still washing up here. Well, I, I just put my bag down to put that little sea butterfly away. And I noticed this. I almost must have stepped on it. <gasps> what is it? It's empty. Oh my sweet swelly seashells, Batman. Look at this one. I've never found this before. What the actual heck? It's the most adorable and stripiest moon snail thingamajig I've ever seen. Oh my, I love this one. What the heck is it? Here we go. I've been picking up a few colorful lovelies off camera. Um, if you see that little white speck in the middle right there, that's actually a very tiny micro shell. I've got no idea what that little white thing there is, but it's absolutely adorable. Ah, well, another lovely limpet or two. There we go. Two more limpets to go with my handful of limpets. Awesome. The wind is a bit relentless today, although it's good for me because it's hot out here. Uh, anyway, I've just been picking up a few lovely limpets and bivalves off camera because that's about all that we've got out here on the rack line right now. Hello everyone. Well, after about an hour of looking at all the shells on shore at Point Cartwright, I realized I didn't bring any lunch. <laughs> so I went to grab some lunch and I thought to myself, why actually go back to Point Cartwright to look for shells? Why not just go to another beach and check out the micro shells here as well? So. While it's still high tide, we're going to check out the micro shells in Coolum. And if I'm still here when the tide is low, we can finish up by checking some rock pools. So stay tuned for that. Do 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 intro music. Well, it turns out that the beach is completely bare of any shells, so I'm already looking in the rock pools. So let's see what's at Coolum's rock pools. Here we go. First find at the new beach, we have a lovely little brown slash blue cowrie. I actually literally do not believe this. I caught a flash of something down there. Can you see it as well? Oh, I'm pointing to it properly on camera now. I haven't found anything here at Coolin for like, oh, for like the last half an hour. And then suddenly, bam, I'm, I'm trying to find a way down, which isn't too scary. Um, um, I'm just going to go for it. Mm, step. Oh, stretching, stretching. Oh, I can't believe my... I cannot believe it. There was nothing on the shore and then my first foray into the rock pools. Are you kidding? May I have you with that Ooh, water? Ooh, it's really wedged in there. I guess no one checks this little place for anything. Oh, I can pick this one up. Let's take a look at you, Mr. Harry Triton. Oh, ooh. yes, indeed. I have found myself a gorgeous, Giant hairy Triton just randomly in the rock here. Okay, okay, thank you very much. He's still got a lot of his hair on top too. He'll clean up very, ooh, very nicely braced. <laughs> Water. Yeah. Oh, hello, good sir. Are you occupied? Let's take a look. Oh, there's no one in you. There we go. At least I think there's no one in there. Wait, is that a rock or is that a snail? I think it's just a rock. <laughs> it is a lovely zebra top shell. Gosh, how did I miss that snakehead? I guess he sort of looks like a rock. Woo, there we go. Again, I'm very sorry about the wind, everyone. But I've got myself an extremely nice snakehead cowrie. So I just spotted something interesting. These are live limpets on the rock here. And as you can see, they don't look too nice because the sun gets to them and the waves and the winds. So they turn kind of uh, brown and gross. But over this side, look at these limpets. They've even got these like beautiful little orange tips on them. Where the heck did they come from? They must have been away from all the wind and, and uh, sun and stuff. They look lovely. Oh, would you get a load of that one? Oh my goodness, that is a very pretty Arosa. Oh wow, he's just got a very interesting color on top of him. Oh, my sweet swelly seashells right next to that deceased crab. I wouldn't have spotted that if not for the bright purple or the vibrant purple. 
look at that one, a bit of a violet sea snail. Awesome. All the ones I found unfortunately do have broken um, apertures there. They are very delicate shells, but it is still a lovely find. Oh my god, you're joking. And there's a little crowned cone next to it, but I want this one. Get a load of him. Ooh, he's like the biggest variegated sundial shell I've ever found. He is so lovely. Lovely dark brown and white. Ooh, ooh, so, so stunning. I find a lot of these at, in this spot actually, or at least several so far. And uh, we'll pick up this crowned boy. Yeah, cute little crowned cone. He's a very small, adorable one. I just absolutely love the crowned cones at Coolan Beach. I mean, look at this one. I think this might be one of my coolest crowned cones ever. It's just like so brown. So interesting. I would never find one that cool at Point Cartwright. Well, hello, hello, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, he's just a small little cat cowrie, but he's really pretty. He's got some lovely bands of color on him. Very, very dark at the front too. Awesome, I do like this one. Just as I was thinking about finding some place without too much wind to do an outro, look at my possibly last shell find. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Let's get him. Oh, he feels good. Oh, he is empty. Oh, nice. Oh, let me just get out of the wind a little bit. I'm shielding the wind. Oh, that is such a nice Arabian. He actually feels pretty smooth, you know. Wow, he's probably like one of the better Arabians I've found in a good long while. What an absolutely lovely coffee rock. I mean, Arabian cowrie. I just literally walked four steps away and oh wow, okay, I found a deer cowrie. Just a little one. He looks lovely though. The reason I said oh wow is because I just spotted a very broken Arabian cowrie right next to it. Um, I will not be taking this one, he can stay, but I definitely want this cute little deer cowrie. So here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. But for now, as always, let's talk about a favourite and I want to hear from you down in the comments which ones were your favourites as well. Um, for me, there was actually a lot of standouts today. I love these white little moon snails, especially the big one, the melanoid moon snail. I'm not sure if that's the same for the other ones. Very, very lovely sand dial right there. Oh, sorry, sun dial right there. Couple of lovely little limpets. A lovely Gaia Triton right here. He looks fantastic. I still really like this funky Nerite with all the orange on it. I think he's like so much fun, so interesting. But my favorite is without question. Whatever this thing is. Would you get a load of this guy? He is absolutely beautiful. I'm not quite sure what he is. His base sort of looks like a Nerite, but, but really thin and delicate. So yeah, not sure. He, he definitely doesn't look like a Nerite in any other kind of way to look at him. Doesn't quite look like a moon snail either, so I'm not quite, I just, I got no idea what he is, but he is just so amazingly wonderful. Got that absolutely lovely little yellow tip. Nice gray and black zebra stripes. Just so interesting and so different and I've never seen one before. So yes, without a doubt, that is my all time favorite today. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>